she can sip Baby says it's lit, it's lit Got your bank account in a cube If she said it loud, it's Hi, welcome to our channel. We are Nate and Christian of Project Trek, and we're so happy that you're here. We've gotten a ton of new subscribers, and we figured it's about time that we updated our RV tour and show you guys inside our RV and some of the updates that we've made. Okay, so behind us is our 2016 Highland Ridge Open Range 376 FBH. FBH stands for Front Bunk House. So when this was brand new, it went for anywhere between uh, 55 to 57,000. We picked it up used as is from Lazy Days in Tampa for what, thir 39,000. And then we added about $5,000 worth of upgrades to it. We were able to kind of make this our own. We've been traveling for the last six years. So when it was time to make this purchase, we wanted to find an RV that we could truly customize and make it fit our family. So this is a 42 foot fifth wheel with five slides on it and it has massive underneath storage that I'll show you a little bit of. It's kind of messy under there because we're out here in Park City snowboarding so all of our snowboarding gear uh, dries out overnight underneath. So this does have a uh, 5500 watt Onan liquid propane generator on it that runs off of the same propane that our, our furnace runs off of but we added over 650 amp hours of lithium batteries and 2100 watts of solar on the roof. So this is another really cool modification that we made. We had this custom bike mount that goes on the pin box, uh, custom welded for us. And so this is where the kids' bikes go. It's just another way to save space in the back. And, and you generally want more weight up on the front of the fifth wheel anyway. These customizations were totally worth it. As I mentioned, we've been traveling for six years. So when we started going through our wish list of everything that we needed in the RV, this thing really does check all the boxes. Okay, it is starting to get cold. So let's show you a little bit of the outside storage and then we'll go inside. So this is the rear storage that I was talking about. It's not really a toy hauler and it's not really a fifth wheel. It's kind of a hybrid of the, of the two. And this, so here's the storage. This is just massive. I mean, you can see we've got three e-bikes back here, helmets and all of our snowboarding gears in front of that. The storage goes all the way to halfway up the, uh, the fifth wheel. So you could fit like kayaks and, and anything you want in here. Okay, so I'm gonna take you inside, come on. Lot of renovations on this RV to make it our own. One upgrade that I absolutely love is we replaced our traditional RV oven with this upgraded steam oven by F Bloom Line. What we did was we disconnected the RV oven from the stovetop and just replaced the oven. We have a video if you're interested in learning how to do that, but this by far has been one of my favorite upgrades. On top of having an awesome oven, we knew that we needed a lot of food storage. We eat at home all the time. We never really go out. So having plenty of food storage is important. And this is a full-size residential fridge. So we have plenty of food storage. One thing that Highland Ridge did right in terms of storage is this awesome spice rack storage where we are able to organize all of our spices right next to the oven, which is awesome design. So another thing that Highland Ridge did right was uh, this shoe storage right as you come in. They did away with the toe kick where they could, and so shoes kind of fit nicely right there, right by the front door. So this is our Berkey. Most RVers have some type of add-on filtration system. We have a clear source three-stage filtration system outside, and then we also filter our drinking water through this. This sits on a wooden plant stand that we found on Amazon. It's worked out great, super lightweight. It fits the Berkey perfectly. Uh, and down here is our uh, Aquafizz for bubbly drinks. Over here is, this is something that we added on underneath and it makes a world of difference. Uh, we found a great deal on Live Edge just outside of Atlanta. And so we bought a bunch and I ended up installing basically a charging shelf. There's 
outlets right here and two outlets and so i charge all of my photography gear here the ipads drones stuff like that over here you can see this nice cozy electric fireplace that we have we're here in park city it's regularly getting down into the single digits so this has been super nice it puts off a really nice dry heat so speaking of dry heat one thing that we did in preparation for coming here but has paid off in dividends for boondocking has been this diesel heater that we installed so like I said earlier, we when we remodeled, we added in all this live edge. And when I was remodeling the steps, I found out that there was just tons and tons of hollow space. So what we did was we added this Chinese diesel heater that we got off Amazon. I'll be sure to link it in the video here. But this thing, it's a small combustion engine and it runs off diesel. The diesel tank is right behind this wall and I can pour the diesel in through the pass through area. But it puts out so much heat. It's just incredible. We stay so comfortable here. So this is the, uh, well, this is the RV thermostat uh, that we run the air conditioners off of, uh, but this is the diesel heater thermostat and control unit. We were able to wire it close enough to the thermostat that it looked like it was in a good place. Uh, the kids have their uh, daily chore list here. And then we added these cool essential oil driftwood shelves that we found uh, near Olympic National Park. And I just drilled some holes in there. And believe it or not, these stay up on travel days. Like I think they've, a couple have fallen out over the years, but no no big deal. Let's get something super clear though. It was not in Olympic National Park. We don't do that. <laughs> we don't do that. <laughs> So part of our renovation project was replacing the lighting that came in the RV. We wanted just a more modern sort of like boho chic feel. So we replaced the lighting. We also replaced the couch and we got a home reserve couch. They're just notorious for having awesome storage along with really great couch options. I also got these ottomans for the kids so that when we're watching movies, we can have them sit on the ottoman to watch the TV or we can also put our feet up and I really Really, I really love that. We also completely renovated the flooring. Our flooring was did not look like this. We wanted something that was a little lighter and we needed to make flooring repairs anyway. So we went ahead and replaced this whole, whole flooring with a Mohawk vinyl flooring. So I wanna show you the master bedroom, but before we do that, I do wanna point out that like Nate mentioned, when we started doing all of these renovations, there were areas where we were able to add additional storage by utilizing the live edge wood. And it's made a huge difference in just expanding our storage space. So let's come on upstairs into the master. You think you know me. chill when our kids go to bed and we've had a long day being parents. <laughs> this bedding is by Betty's. I absolutely love the zippered bedding. It's so great because the way that our end tables work, the bed kind of goes like shoves inside. So the Betty's makes a huge difference and we really love that. Speaking of end tables, we actually resurfaced and redid these bed tables before they were like this dark, weird lacquer. And so we went ahead and um, put some pine board together and stay in them. We continued the live edge theme throughout the RV because it really brings in the natural elements and that was something that we really wanted. A lot of the RVs when they come off the lot they're just so identical and so we wanted to bring in our own sort of flavor and Nate and I have always really loved the look of live edge so to be able to put as much in our RV as we did was real goals like real goals. Um, <laughs> we really love it a lot. So one common question that we get is how do things not fall off of the shelf? And so I figured I'd show you our little secret. It's all Velcroed on. There's little things that we take down like this, but for the most part, everything is secured where it is. Okay, so this is the master bathroom. This is one of two bathrooms that we have in this rig. Uh, we replaced the, the, uh, the countertops here with the same pine board that we just glued together and stained. We added this vessel sink and we upgraded the, the faucet here, painted the cabinets, 
And what we got that is actually amazing is our uh, Splendid Vented Combo Washer Dryer Unit. This makes living in an RV so much easier. Okay, so let's head over to the kids' room because I think that's what most people want to see. Before we go, RV or tip. Everyone complains about bath towels taking so long to dry in these RV washer dryers. This is a Norwex microfiber towel. I'm in love. These things are amazing. They're super lightweight, super thin, super absorbent, but they dry so fast. If you're looking to replace your towels, go with one of these. guys into the kids bunk room but I figured probably be best if they show you around what they love about their bunk room hey guys hey. you ready to show us your room yeah okay who gets to go first me okay rock paper scissors sudden death rock paper scissors shoot rock paper scissors shoot no Hey guys, my name's Ella and I am nine years old and I'm gonna be showing you guys my room. So we have my bed right here. I made this right here. I made like decorations. I finger knitted it. I have some pictures over there. I put some like sticker things. I just drew on them some paper and stick them up there. This hey Ella, what was, what was here before? Do you remember? It was a couch that could flip into a bed. You and your brother were having to share yes. that bed for a little bit while dad renovated the RV? Yeah. I, I didn't like it. So are you happy to have your own space now? Yeah, it's really nice. Hey guys, my name is Sage. So this is our dog, Sage. She is currently one years old and she's my bed. It's very nice and comfy. She likes to jump in our beds. It's actually really fun. So we get to cuddle with her at night. So this is my closet. I have lots of room. My brother has an identical one over there. And look how many Junior Ranger badges I have. So this is my desk area. My dad renovated the whole thing. We used to have a, a mini fridge right here and three drawers. So my dad renovated the whole thing for me and made up my own space. Finally, it's my turn. My name is Janice and I'm seven years old and this is my side of the room. So when my dad remodeled our room, he put a bed in and some toy storage and then we uh, put a cool rock, rock climbing wall on. So here's my favorite part, the Lego desk. I put something right there to make it look cool. So I kind of pretended this is the Hogwarts world and then science world and then uh, Mandalorian world. So in our room, we have our bathroom and uh, my dad is gonna show you that. So one of the really nice things about this floor plan is that there is actually a separate room, which is their bunk room, but it also has this half bath in it, which if you know anything about RVs, having a bath and a half is just, it's so nice. So they have their own toilet and their own sink. What we did was, again, we put in the, the pine countertops here, added a new mirror, vessel sink, and faucet. Like this is the kids' bathroom. Like they don't mess up ours, we don't mess up theirs. We're Project Trek. Thank you so much for joining us on this RV tour. If you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button.